right, morning. It's a new day in the shop. Today's project, rat rod wrecker. Goals for today, dash. We got, got a bunch of stuff to do in here, get the dash put in. We need a shifter cable put in it. And then we wanna put this thing in gear and see if the boom goes up and down, does all those things that it's supposed to. Maybe even some doors. Oh man. So we'll try it. We'll see what we can get done. Here we go. All right, this is our shifter cable. We just gotta figure out where to run our hole through and goes in like yonder and down. So what else are we running through this floor? We've got all the controls for the hydraulics that have come in. Have to come oh, through the back. Yeah, and they're gonna come back here. Yep. So really that's we can just put that where it lines up. That should line up on that other side. Yeah, come down in here. Hopefully it's long enough. Ah, uh, should be. We just gotta figure where's the best. I would probably lift it up and put it on the bottom. And shove it through the bottom so we and get then, the right length. Yeah, and then just drill a hole where you think it can make a good loop. Okay. So basically, that would be right in the middle of that floor. Yeah, right up here somewhere. Here, let's fish it up through where it goes. Run it through there. Yeah, it's gonna on. be right there to hook on. Hook it on, it's good. Basically, I think, if you're good there, we'll have to come through right here somewhere. Okay. All right. Put it down, I'll grab a drill bit. Yeah, just that big. Big enough? Big Why, enough. yes okay, it let's, is. Let's see if we can get the right grommet for it. Knocked my mic off. What in the world have you got going here, Hunter? There you go. Back in the hole. Okay. I'm, I'm doing Hunter's job right now. Hold on. Alright. <laughs> Hold. Okay. Hey. Oh, thanks. Thank you. We're filming here, Grandma. Quit interrupting. I know you're filming. Bentley, you don't care, though. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Did you go clear down by the... Yeah, I'm clear at the bottom. For the diff cover? Do you need it longer? Or no, or it's probably going to be alright. Alright, Rowdy came through. We got our metal to do the headache crack part of this. This is a 3 by one 3 16 wall. Rectangle tube, not square tube, like I said last time. <laughs> but we're gonna cut a piece 66 and three quarters inches long, and then we'll put two uprights in it and fill those in with something. We'll get cracking on this, see if we can get this built today. Drop, drop. Look at that, dude. It's like like spot on. It's a Christmas miracle. It's pretty close to what the other one is. Will those magnets hold it? Should. Perfection. We got like it. it. Semi leveled? Yep. It's it's the same as the top, so we're good. And then I think we'll put an upright in it, like right here, and one over there. And then I'll figure out what I'm gonna put in the, the back window part of it to finish that off. I'll weld that in. Then we gotta figure out where these all go, Hunter. Wow, what in the world did I do on that? Dude, that's a quarter of an inch. What did I do? I made this one perfect over here. Maybe old trusty isn't so trusty. Maybe anymore. the tape measure is the problem. Good <laughs> thinking, right. Hunter. Right there's at the end of the seats. That's 25 inches right there. So I come to 25 inches and I come to 25 inches. 25 and 25, that's it. And then I just got to decide what I'm going to do with, with these. Be able to see out of that. Yeah, you look, that looks good. I'll weld those in and then I'll start, start figuring on the rest.
Alright, weld it in. I think this is gonna work. We're winging it, which is normally what we do around here, but I think this is gonna do it. Need to cut another one of those. That's that for the other side. Then I gotta switch the angle on it because that has to be, yeah, I gotta cut one more. All right, we got some angles here. I did the first hole up here for our brake lever. It was too far off. I had to go down more so we can get more travel on our rod. I'm gonna weld this on and then we'll show you the final end of it. Bad weld. Let's see. Hit a hold. <laughs> Hit a hold. That's all you need, right? Yep. It's focused. <laughs> Sink in here. That's deep thought right there, right. isn't it? All right. Here we go. There you go. Thank you. Hope it's getting it. The bat should be able to push. Brake pedal. Oh. A little bit tighter. Yeah, let's try that. Hi. Hey, we've got it finally. We just got to bleed everything up and mount this down. So we'll find a bracket for that. That's what we're doing. Then to get this, I need to cut this on a little bit of an angle and I knew that. Then we'll put a piece over that so it has like a... That's what I was thinking. Something of that nature, that's gonna work. I'll bet a 15 degree angle is what we're after. Square may be best. That's gonna open it way up, huh? I may go square. All right, for those of you how, who haven't seen my dream yet, this is what I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna go just barely like that. Then we'll take a piece of this that's cut on the proper angles. And it'll fit right in here. So it'll have like a, not rounded, but kind of that effect going to it. See that? Then it'll have the, that's the radius I'm looking for. So we'll just cut basically a piece of that, weld it right in there. This will still be overlapped that much, so it'll be super tough. It's not like it's going anywhere. This is where it gets tricky. I gotta cut that out. Don't mess up. I never do, Hunter. Uh, never. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that all day. I'll cut that out real quick. We got some artistry work going on here. I did me a little template. I'm just gonna do a little bracket that sits right down here. We're gonna set this valve down. And this is for the rear brakes. I'll get that uh, little square cut out. We'll see if we can get that on there. I like having it up. Yep. I'll we'll just drill some holes in it. Weld it down. Good enough. We figured it out. This should be our final bolt on here. Then we'll mark where we want it welded on. Weld it on. See anything wrong with that? I think that'll work. That's the gist of what we got going. We're gonna build all these pieces for the other side, then we'll weld it together. Let's see if we can't make this all fit together here like I imagined it and it turns out. It's not bad, is it? I like it. I'm just interrupting your filming again for, a, for, an, important, <laughs> for an important announcement. What? Your lunch is ready. Oh. Every time we start filming, Grandma Lolly walks into the shop. Hey, you know when you're wanted. I have a sick sense. It must be. You got a nail. <laughs> Not a stick. Sick. Oh, <laughs> I was. I heard sense. wrong. <laughs> I like it. It curves out with the body. Yeah. What is it? A step. Oh yeah, that's back. pretty cool actually. You designed that in your own mind, huh? No, I used yours this time. <laughs> The sick, uh, mind. The sick mind was putting stuff together. Sarcasm runs right, deep well in this family, doesn't it? What do you think of that one? Pretty dang good weld. I can't read a tape measure, but I can run one of these. That was a good one, too. How much we have it, Hunter? Oh, you're deciding on placement, huh? Yeah. 
Well, because you want it comfortable. If it's a pain in the butt, you'll never use it. So I can see a future Mountain Dew sitting right there. Do I need to hold it for you and you see where it is? What are you thinking? Like right there? Yeah. Yeah, it was welded in. I'll have the professional welded in. That's probably smart. We don't want it to break off. <laughs> That's as good as it gets right there. Somewhere off of here, we'll come off with the fender, roll a piece of tubing up, and then bend it over, tie it in there. I don't know how that's going to work yet, but it's going to work. So, get one more of those to build on the other side, and then we're getting close. But it's lunchtime. All right. We got the mail today, we got some stuff to go over. Bob sent us some solder connectors and some shrink wrap and a little heat gun. That's pretty sweet. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. The guys over at Deviant Race Products sent us a fire extinguisher and the clamps to mount this sucker to the roll cage in the tow truck. I hope we don't need it. But thank you. We will put that in for sure. It does happen. Yep. Eric sent us this 3D printed light. There's Landon's truck. And then the FJ. Part of the more bear. We'll cut that out of there. Just kidding. That's pretty sweet. Thanks, Eric. It says, do not touch. Not only will this kill you, it will hurt the whole time you are dying. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely... Uh... And that was from Derek. Thank you. You guys may recognize this little brochure here. It looks just like that heater that's in the corner that we use every single day. So, I met this guy a year ago. He just informed me and sent me this, a thermostat. There's a wire on the back of that that I can hook this thermostat into and it'll kick itself on and off. The old Sunfire. We're gonna definitely hook that up. So, oh, thanks Dave. Oh, who does not need an enormous 128 inch stainless steel flask? That is sweet. <laughs> That's gonna go in the tow truck for rough rides. <laughs> for long days, you'd be like, well, get the flask out. Get her out. Okay, on further inspecting of the flask, this thing's bad to the bone. Look at that. That is cool. That is freaking sweet. Thank you very much. All right, Rick sent us some pro gaff tape. I don't know if any of you know what this is. I've been around it a little bit. It's awesome stuff. Ben got himself a persuader hammer. Ben Swader, eight pound, SAE in metric. And I got myself this one. You're gonna see this in the tow truck. This is a perfect size hammer for the tow truck. This one says Alex. Thank I'm you. sure I'm gonna hit something with it. Then the guys at frangiblebullets.com hooked us up. Randy, he sent Ben a box of Freedom Seeds. Oh, yes. In the nine mil variety. Yeah. Freedom Seeds, and got them. I got some of my own self, so thank you. Eric. <laughs> so Randall, not the Randy or Randall that you guys know, but a different one, sent us a license plate that says this on it, the submarine. Very fitting. You guys are about to find out what this is all about. I like that. It's going to be pretty cool. You guys are going to want to stay tuned for the submarine. Looks like the other side, so I think we did a good job. That'll keep the headache rack from, from like bending back and forth, wiggling. She's on there. Like I said before, we'll come off of here somewhere for the rear fender, but I haven't got that designed yet. It will, it'll happen. The Probably rear's just... going down quick. There, I don't think the rear ever got any. It, I only filled it the one time and it never <laughs> cooked oil, so. All right, I was just making sure. It's gonna drink a lot, I'm it's sure. It's gonna eat fluid. They may be open back there, I'm not sure. I almost touched that. I touched right there. How hot is it? Hot. It's hot. Yeah, I, I just... He just finished welding it. 
Let me yeah, explain see? to you how this works. You put these two pieces of metal <laughs> together like this, and then you melt them together, Ooh. and it creates heat. <laughs> it's see? a crazy thing. Be quick. Try the next one. Keep going. It's at the bottom. Yeah. Bump her up. Pump it. We're gonna test this thing. You guys, there's been a ton of questions be like, you guys are idiots. We know that. You didn't even test the boom before you did all that work and put it on here. Technically, we did test it. When it was still hooked to the tow truck that it came off of, we lifted it up and down, did everything. I've changed nothing. It should work just the same, unless it doesn't. one sounds like it does something well that first one you moved this started going down yeah it was this because it rolled this and it rolled, rocked it down we we have something different wrong not right huh evidently but these yeah these are just too loud, nah. they're getting fluid evidently because I had oil leaking out of there oh yeah it's it's got things going doesn't have pressure. We got some figuring out to do. We're not getting pressure like we need to get pressure. Yeah, just grab that gray pan. We're gonna pull that So we figured out. out there's gotta be a relief stuck or something. We have power to these two valves, but no pressure over here. So I can run the two inches, but I can't run the boom up now. Right there's good. We'll pull this out and see what we've got going. Okay, well. Maybe, uh, just freaking maybe. Be calling Scotty up and saying, all right, hydraulic man. What did we do? Call little Scotty, I gotta go to a game here, but okay. We're figuring hydraulics out. It works. We know it all works. It works That's good. good. So we've got some stuff accomplished today. It's got yeah. brakes. It has gears. It has gears. It'll move. I yeah. tested it. It felt I felt a gear in there. It yeah. does move. PTO works. It whines pretty bad. It's a little whiny. We might have to look into that. Yeah, we may have to deal yeah. with that. But it'll maybe it'll wear it in too. It'll wear in. I put new bearings in it, so maybe it'll wear in. Probably not. But guess but what else works? We made all of this work. It doesn't work simultaneously right now. If we put the feed to the middle, 
this side will work. If we put it over here, this side will work. So we got to put a T in here and feed both sides of this valve. Elevated, I called him up. He walked me through what needs to happen. Super sharp. He's going to get all the stuff, ship it down. We'll put it on. So I think the tow yeah, truck is I coming along. We're getting there. It's Things doing tow working. truck stuff now. Things are working. Yeah. Like it should. I got new cables coming. We're going to get those on. We'll finish the back end of this. We can put doors and a seat on it next time. So thanks for watching. That's just tilt. Oh, that is it. That's the up and down. Yeah, it should have it. Should be right there. It's, they're always on the side. That's going to be freaking sweet. Are you videoing? I was hoping you were going to tip over or something. <laughs> you were going to watch him go down. I was hoping.